Okay, so I forgot to show the steps involved in um, making the character in such a way that the motion capture data from Mixamo um, actually works with um, yeah works uh, with Mixamo and then can be brought into Unreal Engine without an issue um, because the Rococo uh, suit. There's several different formats uh, that it can export uh, data from the Rococo software. Um, and one of them is actually Mixamo format. So that's something I'm already kind of familiar with, where um, the other formats I'm going to have to experiment with and uh, see how I can deal with that data. Um, the important thing is that my character is in a T pose. Um, before he's uploaded to, um, yeah, make sure he's in the T pose because Mixamo will automatically move a character into a T pose, no problem. Um, but the problem is I'm not going to be using Mixamo. I'm going to be using the data directly, so I have to get my character in the T pose before then. And yeah, I could do it by hand, but it's better to have precision, especially when um the software has not a uh, capability of already um, doing it. Okay, so this is basically the character. This is the base looking character without anything fancy to it. And, you know, the parameters that can be messed with. There's a, a ton of different parameters in here. So you can shape everything. Okay, so um, this, before you finalize the character, you have to make sure you set the T-Pose under Set Pose because once you finalize the character, it's not going to give you the option for these, that particular pose anymore. Um, so it's kind of key that you do it now um, when you first start creating the character. Because when you go to finalize the character, you're going to export um, uh, the textures, which you're going to need uh, in Unreal Engine. And... Um, once I finalize it, I can't export textures anymore uh, through this easy method. There may be some other method within Blender itself. Um, and you can't um, do an auto set to T-Pose. They give you other poses you can do whatever with. Um, so that's crucial. <sighs> yeah. And also, when you're exporting your character as an FBX, the other crucial thing is to disable armature. If you were to bring it into um, Mixamo, because uh, Mixamo will get confused by the armature, because the armature is the bone system, and the bone system, um, they're trying to add a auto rig bone system in um, Mixamo which you set some points for the wrists, joints, and the elbows, and the knees, and the grind, and the chin. Um, but it can't do that if there's a skeleton ready there. Um, I don't know about Rococo, if Rococo brings its own skeleton in, and I have to not have a skeleton already, or if I can apply the motion onto... Um, the skeleton that I already have, the armature. I see why they call it an armature, not a skeleton system. It's, yeah, sounds better. Okay, so then you export that. Those are the key things. Um, otherwise, I'd run into problems. Okay.